Hello, I'm Miranda and I'm here to provide you a self-massage video. And this video specifically is for all of you who are stuck at home who are working on the computer all day. So at work, maybe you have an ergonomic station, a standing, sitting desk, but at home you don't really have the same setup. So maybe you're sitting at the dining room table or you're sitting on the couch more than you're supposed to and you might find yourself starting to curl in and being sucked into that little teeny tiny laptop. So these massages are specifically to help relieve any tension you're feeling in the neck and right between the scapula or the shoulder blades and also a little bit for the low back. So you will need either some specific design massage balls, such as these. We have a couple different sizes. These are yoga tune-up balls, and I'll link, I'll link it below where you can find those. But you can also use a tennis ball. So I know a lot of people don't have massage balls at home. So you can either put two tennis balls in a sock and tie it off, or like I've done here, I actually put a tennis ball in a glove. So I found this in my first aid kit. Um, I wanted something that had a little bit of a rubber grip. Tennis balls are really soft, but they're not going to grip onto the skin as well as this rubber does. So this actually does a really good job to grip onto the skin. So you can use a tennis ball by itself or maybe put it into a glove to give a little bit more grip. So finding a comfortable seat, whatever that means to you, maybe you wanna prop your hips up and just ground for a moment, find your breath. and check in with your neck. Slowly start to roll your right ear into your right shoulder. Take a big inhale. And exhale, roll your chin in through your chest and left ear to left shoulder. Big inhale here. Exhale, roll the chin through the chest and inhale right ear to right shoulder. Nice and slow, you're playing with the tension along this open side of the neck. So I like to imagine there's a bungee cord here hooked onto my ear and the top of the shoulder. And I just play with the tension there. You can pivot the head, move the chin closer to the shoulder. If you find a spot that feels extra stuck, just hang out there and roll side to side. Eventually, maybe taking full circles with the head, nice and controlled. Whatever feels good here. If you find a spot that feels extra good or you have that hurts good sensation, you can always use your hand to get some extra pressure An extra stretch. Awesome. And now let's work down the rest of the spine into the hips using cat cow to make some space in between each of the vertebrae. So when we're sitting all day, things tend to get really stuck. So coming on to hands and knees, let's do some cat cow. So as you inhale, drop the belly and just lift the gaze. And as you exhale, round the spine, make some space between your shoulder blades, tuck the chin into the chest and tuck your tailbone under. When you're ready to inhale, drop that belly and lift the gaze. A couple more times at your own pace. Imagining making space between each vertebrae. One more time, drop the belly, big inhale. And full exhale, push the ground away. Tuck the tailbone under, tuck the chin. And inhale, 
to the neutral spine. And one of the biggest culprits with back pain is actually the pecs. And when we're doing everything in front of our bodies all day, so texting or being on the computer or driving, this region gets really tight and constricted. So we want to reverse that by opening up the chest because when the pecs are tight, it pulls on the back and the back is what hurts, although the pecs are the problem. So we're gonna do a quick pec stretch by laying on our bellies and this is sometimes called broken wing and it can be kind of intense so be gentle with yourself you're going to bring your arms out to a t and then starting on your left side you can bring your right hand underneath your chest and start to push your upper body over onto that left side so i'll show you on the right so you can see you're extending the arm and rolling your body so that the arm is pinned down to the ground and you're getting a nice stretch through the pec. So only go as far as feels comfortable. You should be getting a good stretch. You shouldn't feel any pinching or any burning or numbness down the arm. If so, you might be constricting a nerve, in which case you should back off. So go at your own pace. If this is comfortable, you can rest the head down and just take a couple deep breaths. And we'll go to the other side. If you have really open shoulders, you might not feel anything at all here. And you can open up your legs, rotate your lower body to get a little bit more pressure onto that arm. Some people are hypermobile or what is sometimes referred to as double jointed and it takes a lot more to get a stretch here. But take a couple more breaths. And exhale, come back to center and push yourself back up. Grab one of your balls and we're going to go to the wall for a pec stretch. Okay, so to massage the pecs, the easiest way to do it is to come to the wall. And if you have a block or a thick book, you can use that to make space for your face. You're going to take the ball and pin it right underneath the collarbone. So if you have any straps, you can move them out of the way. And then find that fleshy part right underneath the collarbone. You're gonna take a little bit of a lunge stance. And then place the ball, sandwich it between your pec and the block. You're just gonna roll back and forth underneath that clavicle, keeping a pretty solid pressure. You know, no hands and the ball and the block are still staying there. I'm gonna roll all the way out to the edge of the shoulder and all the way back to the sternum. So you're following the clavicle all the way out and all the way back in. You might find a spot that feels particularly tender. You can hang out there and give some extra pressure. And then with that arm that's now just kind of dangling there, you can very slowly, as you pin the pec muscle, you can slowly lift that arm overhead. And this is intense, but it's a good stretch for that pec. So breathe, only go as far as you feel comfortable. And as always, if you're feeling any numbness, burning, tingling, anything shooting down the arm, you're probably pinching a nerve. 
so you can just move the ball to a different spot. So try that for a couple times and then move over to the other side. I'm not going to do the other side because I have the microphone there. <laughs> but I will show you a technique to get to the upper traps and the um, right into a little bit of the scalenes. Okay, to get to the traps, we're going to take the ball and place it right at the crook of the neck. So above the clavicle, follow the neck down, place it right where the shoulder starts, move any straps out of the way, and find a corner. So you want a place for your head to go. As you hinge at the hips and press the ball into the shoulder. So you might have to move around a couple times, find a spot that feels good. And you can control the pressure by your back leg. So how much force are you pushing into the wall? Hang out here for a couple breaths. And this arm, so the ball's on my left side, so my left arm, you can either dangle here or you can slowly reach that arm behind your low back for an extra stretch. And then start to incorporate movement of the head. So we're pinning down the traps, the trapezius muscles, and then you're going to slowly rotate your head, look over that opposite shoulder. This can be pretty intense. Right now it's triggering a little headache sensation above my eyebrow, which is good. That means that's a spot that has a lot of restriction. So I'm going to stay here. I'm going to breathe into it. And then slowly come back, do some head nods. Yes, no. And then go through that stretch one more time. Looking over that right shoulder. Slowly exhale, come back. And then I'm gonna come out of this. Try it on the other side. And then we're gonna go back down onto the mat. Okay, so coming back down onto your yoga mat or to the floor, we're gonna be working on the rhomboids or those muscles that are right in between the shoulder blades and the spine. And a lot of people, when they're working on the computer for a long time, tend to have pain there right underneath the shoulder blades. So take either your tennis balls or your therapy balls out of their tote and place them right down onto the mat right next to each other. You're going to lay back. You want the balls to be right in the center of your mid to upper back. So right where your rhomboids are, right in between the shoulder blades and the spine. So roll around, find a spot that feels good. And just for a few breaths, let the ball sink in. Get comfortable here. And then we're going to do a little bit of compression. So Lift your arms overhead. I call this zombie arms. And it's a very subtle movement, but you're going to reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling, which separates your shoulder blades. Take an inhale, and on an exhale, you're going to pull those arm bones back into the socket and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, reach the fingertips up. So you're lengthening the arms, shoulder kind of comes out of its socket, and then you're going to exhale and squeeze the shoulder blades together. So you're squeezing the balls between the shoulder blades. Inhale and reach. Exhale. Squeeze, compress the balls between the shoulder blades. Inhale and reach. Let's do this one more time. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades. It's almost like you're trying to pop the balls 
between your shoulder blades and release. Those arms can float down to your sides. And now we're going to make snow angel arms. So you can either do this with both balls still underneath your, your back, or you can remove one ball. If you remove a ball, it's going to be more intense. So like you're making a snow angel, very slowly moving the arms overhead and then back down towards the side of the body. You can roll yourself higher if you want to find a different spot. Still staying with the balls between the spine and the shoulder blades. And this can be pretty intense. So if it feels really uncomfortable, maybe you can roll off the balls and just take a rest. I'll do one more. And exhale. Release. You can roll the balls away and just come rest on your back for a moment. Feel the difference. Feel the space between your shoulder blades. And finally, we're going to roll the balls down to our lower back. There's a muscle here called the quadratus lumborum, or QL for short, and that's that thick lumbar muscle right across the low back. So you're placing the balls right above the hips and below the ribs. So find that space, it's just about the size of the balls, and let the balls sink into that area. If you have a big arch in your back, you're not really gonna feel the balls very much. So we're gonna tuck the pelvis, so have your knees bent, feet on the mat, and you're slowly gonna tuck your pubic bone towards your nose. You're contracting the abdominal muscles and then releasing, letting the hips come back down to the mat. Take an inhale, exhale, tuck the pelvis, And release. Do this a couple times. Maybe roll up a little bit, find a different spot, tuck the pelvis, and untuck. Tuck, and untuck. One more time. Hold it here and release. So for our final massage posture, we're gonna need a yoga block. If you don't have a yoga block, you can use a book or a couple books stacked up. Or if you have a bigger ball, you can use that too. We're gonna place the block underneath the low back more on one side and you're only going to take one ball and sandwich the ball right in that same ql spot above the hip but below the ribs so you're going to sandwich the ball between the ql and the block and this is pretty intense so let the ball compress take a few breaths And very slowly, I'm going to let the knees drop to the right side. So the ball is on my right QL, so it's to the right of my spine. 
And I'm also going to drop my knees slowly over to the right. This is increasing the pressure. Increasing the intensity. And it's also pinning the ball and the muscle closer in towards my spine. So it's coming at the muscle from a different angle. So play with this. If it's too intense, you can back off. If it's super intense, you can always do this on the wall. So I just came out of it a little bit. Taking a breath. I'm slowly going to go back in. And it doesn't take much. So now I'm going to switch to the other side. Moving the ball and the block to the left side, left of my spine, letting the ball nestle in there for a few breaths. And now I'm slowly going to drop my knees over to the left. You can play with maybe straightening that lower leg, straightening the arm. So the ball's on my left side. That means my left leg is straight and my left arm is straight. Just lengthening my entire left side as the ball sinks into and pushes into my QL. Big breath. Full exhale as I come out of this posture. Lifting the hips, sliding the block out from underneath. Come down onto my back and hug those hips into my chest. Stretch out the low back, maybe rock side to side, give a little massage. And relax. So that is a quick self-massage that you can do maybe in the middle of your work day to reinvigorate you or if you're feeling really tense and tight, um, giving yourself a little treatment so that you can keep going and prevent further injury. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for connecting.